a Northeast Live exclusive story. The political temperatures are soaring in Meghalaya ahead of polls. While the BJP and NPP continue to be in loggerheads and leaving no stone unturned to woo voters, there is one party which is focusing to seal the deal in Garo Hills. Well, no prizes for guessing. We are talking about the NCP, which will be filing only as many as 16 candidates this elections, and that too just in the Garo Hills. But what is the reason behind this decision? Well, watch NCP leader Saling Sangma talk about the party's political agenda in this exclusive chat with our chief of bureau Arindam Das. We are joined in by NCP MLA from Meghalaya, Mr. Saling A. Sangma. Well, elections are near and all the parties are with their strategy. The BJP is saying they will field candidates in all the 60 seats. The NPP is also saying that they are targeting absolute majority. So what is NCP's strategy or how is the party gearing up for the next elections? We are just looking at the people's pulses right now. We haven't started yet. We haven't, you know, even geared up also. But uh, looking at the scenario of uh, Meghalaya right now, uh, I had already had a talk with the High Command from Delhi and Mumbai. So what we are planning is that we are not going to put up uh, in all the 60s cons constituency, maybe like uh, 17, 18, depending on the requirement and depending on the people's call only. Which are the areas you are targeting where to fill the candidates? Yeah, especially we'll be targeting mostly in the Garo Hills because NCP was based in Garo Hills. So that way, let's see how far we can do. Uh, lots of issues to take care of. Education sector, unemployment sector. You know, basing on those uh, issues that uh, if we can do something a little better f for our people, maybe, you know, uh, people need to have a, you know, like a brighter future for themselves also. Right now, uh, you know, people's hope, uh, you know, uh, with the scenario, it's a little changing. This is why. So how do you predict or anticipate uh, the mandate? Uh, because Meghalaya has always seen a fractured mandate. How will it be this time? Uh, fractured mandate, uh, everybody's mandate was quite somewhat similar, one with the other, with the other departments, I mean like party also. But yet, uh, uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, the duty, uh, sometimes, uh, you know, uh, you know, they're... Uh, responsibility housed away from the men, real, actual responsibility. So that's why, like, uh, we have to keep up with the promises, whatever we will, uh, you know, like, uh, whatever, whatever, or whichever party it may be, uh, definitely uh, future, what I'm seeing is that definitely, again, it might be a fracture mandate, but uh, we have to have uh, come up with the uni uniformity where the idea or the, you know, any uh, agenda that we will have, uh, we'll have to have a, you know, conclusive decision for the people of the Meghalaya. So you're saying you're bracing up for a fractured mandate this time also? Uh, that's why we're not putting up even 60 out of 60, come on. If we are putting up the 60, 60, definitely, we might say that, okay, you know, we might not have, we might have only one or two. But uh, since ourselves are not having, you know, that uh, much of strength to put up 60 out of 60, how can I say that? we will have our own mandate, you know. So you're saying you'll be putting 17 or 18 candidates. Mm -hmm. uh, how depending, depending. And, and how many numbers will get from that? Right now, I cannot predict, as I've told you, like uh, it's the people's, people's call. Like, for example, there's a lots of agitation after agitations, issue after issues. Even that day also, there's a lots of, you know, like chaos that has created a little bit in the... Uh, in the Silong city itself, when, you know, like, for the unemployment, uh, when the lots of KGGP, the youths are, you know, like, uh, uh, they were having the rally, mm -hmm. but yet there were a few incidences, because out of frustrations, they have done it out of frustrations, actually. And talking about the state BJP, the state BJP has said that uh, they have written to the central committee that uh, they should give a permission to pull out of MDA. So somewhere, uh, is there a bitterness cropping out uh, in the MDA government right now? No. <laughs> I cannot comment on the other party. I don't know what kind of uh, situation that is cropping up with them. But right now, obviously, they are with the government. And then one of the members is definitely the minister. So I don't I don't think uh, there is any kind of a situation. And then moreover, it's only, <laughs> you know, the last, um, we might have another 30, 40, maybe like 30 days only. 
Oh, it's a joke only. I think I don't think they will pull out. <laughs> Lastly, BJP is fielding Bandar Marak from Garo Hills. Uh, I'm not sure. I cannot comment on that whether BJP is uh, filling Barnard Marak or John Leslie because recently what I have seen is that even ex MLA, uh, you know the former MLA from Tura or Tura, uh, Mr. John Leslie, a moment has already uh, joined the BJP stream. I don't know whether he they will give ticket to John Leslie or Barnard Marak. Uh, I cannot comment on that because it's their choice and then it's their prerogative only. So for other party, I cannot speak on. Thank you very much. That was NCP MLA from Meghalaya, Salang Esangma, speaking exclusively to Northeast Life. Reporting from Silong with camera person Francis, this is Arindam Das for Northeast Life.